key, all right? Hey, well, this is your game to win. This is your game to win. Take it back on the city. Here we go. Let's go on three, one, two, three! Let's go! All right, welcome back to Friday Night Lights, brought to you by Isabella Bank. Of course, our Hurley Medical Center play of the night is coming up. But first, it is time to tag in the Davison Destroyer. He's going to come at you with an elbow drop. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to get off the top rope in order to do something like that. But we've got a lot of action still on Friday Night Lights here, sponsored by Isabella Bank. But first up, we have a non-conference matchup between Flint Metro and Saginaw Valley Conference teams with the Heritage Hawks hosting the Flushing Raiders. Now, both teams got double-digit wins to open up the year as we see the band getting warmed up right here. First up, Austin Williams with a sling pass to Damon Eddy, and he's going to get the first down, going for even more before he ends up being forced out of bounds. Man, I had to make sure I didn't get hit right there, I guess. Now Heritage with the ball. Ethan Mason takes the snap here, rolls out to the left, throws on the move, and Braylon Esam is wide open, and the junior takes off. The Raiders can't bring him down. Touchdown, Hawks. We move now to the final moments of the first half. 14 seconds to go. Heritage back with the ball. Mason with the ball, dropping back, looking to throw it deep downfield. Look who it is again. Braylon Esam with another big touchdown. He had three, I believe, in the first half, and that could be right there, our Hurley Medical Play of the Night. Heritage dropped nearly 50 points in the first half, and they get the blowout win 69 to 26. And over now to Freeland, where they had their first Tri-Valley Central matchup against Alma tonight. The Falcons are at the goal line. Nick Harrington gets the handoff. Bull rushes his way into the end zone for a Freeland touchdown. Second quarter now, the Falcons still with the ball. This time getting the handoff is Evan Vasek, and he's got some room now for some open field before being brought down in Alma territory, getting nearly 35 yards on that run. Falcons now trying to score yet again. Sam Talaga is going to take the snap. He's scrambling about, trying to find something. As he's being brought down, there's a shovel pass to Ty Fournier, and that's a scrappy touchdown right there for the Falcons. Freeland moves now to 2-0 with the 59-14 victory, as Alma still looking to find their first win on the year. All right, Austin, appreciate that. We got ourselves a Hammity and a Flint Powers game going at you right here. It was 27 0 uh, Hammity at the half, but here comes Powers. Uh, first drive of the second half, Devontae Ross pass to the halfback, looks downfield, finds Charlie Fritz for the 49 yard touchdown, cuts the lead to 27 7. Next drive, Fritz would find Aiden McCracken down the field and make some nice moves for a 42 yard touchdown. Later, Hamity would answer back as Dequarius Mayfield would keep the ball himself, goes 35 yards down the sideline. That makes it a 33-21 game. Then Powers looking to get back in it again, but the ball is fumbled. Marquise Nelson picks it up. He's going to take it all the way back for the scoop and score. Hamity a winner, 39-21. To eight-player football, Breckenridge visits Merrill. Here come the Vandals onto the field. You know, uh, Merrill's Joel Tack, not your typical quarterback. He lowers the shoulder and runs through a guy into the end zone. I saw a couple linemen with pancake blocks on that drive for Merrill, too. They got some tough dudes. Later, Breckenridge punting near midfield. Great punt goes over the head of Caleb Walker. He grabs it near the 10, almost falls, gathers himself, finds a seam, and guess what? He's gone. This could be our Hurley Medical Center play of the night. That's a 90-yard touchdown. Merrill goes on to beat Breckenridge 36-14. to And speaking of the Hurley play of the night, that is coming up here on Friday Night Lights, brought to you by Isabella Bank. But first, let's check out, let's go inside the huddle of the 1972 Bay City Central State Championship team. We're going nine and zero, oh, baby. Let's let them right. know that we were the state champions. Yell it out, baby. One, two, three. Hit the hit the hit the hit the hit the hit 